Hello there, fellow YouTubers, Facebookers, Google Pluses, and if you are among those three, then hello to you too. Yeah, it's me again, and uh, I just basically wanted to pop in today and uh, say a, a few hellos to some, uh, uh, to begin with, some special Facebook friends, uh, Brett O'Connell. How you going, Brett? I hope you're getting getting well, getting better. Uh, Eleanor Bramowitz. Uh, uh, I don't know if Helen uh, is out there doing her favourite pastime and shoveling more of that white stuff, but anyhow, g'day, Helen, and to uh, and to Johnny Brown. How you going, Johnny? It's always good to hear from you, my friend. And uh, a big hello to a couple of uh, a couple of YouTubers who regularly uh, comment on my video uploads. They're uh, George Boggs. G'day, George. I hope you're feeling better too. And uh, Veronica Rowanfork. I hope I pronounced your your name correct. Uh, Veronica, and uh, and the two three um, special Google Plus friends, uh, Rachel Walani. Hey, going Rachel? How are those YouTube videos going? Um, to Ms. D. Bizoir, I hope I pronounced your name right, Ms. Bizoir. Uh, she regularly gives likes on my uh, post on uh, Google Plus. Thank you very much. Um, and to uh, Yani Desraj. Now I hope Yani, I pronounced that name correct. I did ask you to spell it out to me phonetically, and uh, I think I pronounced it correct, but who knows? Uh, all, all three women on Google Plus, I, I, it must be my um, my magnetic appeal, my my manliness, you know? Yeah, that, that appeals to them. <laughs> Anyhow, only joking. Well, it's uh, it's another very warm and steamy day here in my hometown of Coffs Harbour. Um, what's the temperature in the shed? No, it, it, it's often around 31 degrees. And uh, the humidity is up around 75% again. And uh, that, uh, what can I say? And uh, we've got another cyclone forming up on the uh, far north coast of Queensland, uh, Cyclone Nathan. Now, what happens here in Australia, and it's probably the same worldwide, but I'm not sure, is that um, there is no discrimination when, uh, when naming cyclones because the Bureau of Meteorology... Um, uh, applies male and female names of cyclones in turn. Uh, so this one's Nathan, and the next one could be Natalie, uh, it, it could be, uh, well, it could be Veronica, it could be Rachel, who knows. Um, back in 1974, um, we had one of the most devastating cyclones ever to hit the uh, uh, the far north of uh, Australia. Uh, it was uh, Cyclone Tracy. Um, as I said, that was in 1974. That was pretty close to Christmas time, I think it was too, if their memory serves me correct. Um, I had to go on to Google and get some facts, what I thought might interest you. Um, what well, now, let me see. Cyclone Tracy killed 71 people. 71 people lost their lives because of that, uh, that cyclone. Um, 41,000 of the 47,000 inhabitants of Darwin were left homeless. Um, I think there was something like 30,000 uh, were evacuated. And it cost, now this is 1974 dollars, it, 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 it cost, it, it, it caused um, in 1974 dollars, 837 million dollars damage. You know, good grief. I, I, I suppose by today's standard, you know, that, that would be up uh, you know, to several billion dollars. Um, you know, it, uh, I remember it vividly, actually, I remember seeing it, I, I mean, it was on the news all the time and there was a, there were broadcasts, you know, uh, Almost non-stop. Oh dear, yeah. So anyhow, we've got another cyclone uh, heading towards the far north coast of Queensland, and of course that'll unleash it and uh, its fury. And of course, eventually it may it, it will either head its way down south again, and will turn into a uh, a tropical low, and it'll hang around off the uh, off the coast, and we'll get more and more rain here in Coffs Harbour. And as I said before. Uh, February, we had 20 of the uh, 28 days wet with 516.5 millimetres in the gauge. And uh, so who knows, maybe March might end up being just as wet. We'll just, we can only wait and see. Um, I really haven't uh, haven't got much more news to tell you. You know, I'm, uh, I've got a lot of things to do. Oh, my back's playing up a little bit, that's all. But we all have our crosses to bear, don't we? Uh, I've got a lot of jobs to do, and I haven't been able to get around to doing um, uh, my usual YouTube uploads. I, 
I like to do at least one a week if I can, but of late, I've, I've got a lot of jobs I need to do around the house. Um, uh, I've, I've got a bit of sandblasting to do on some jobs. I've got some uh, uh, wire wheel work to do. I've got a little bit of welding to do, and I've got a big welding job coming up. I need to uh, uh, customize a box trailer I got uh, on my four wheel drive, uh, um, what I call my escape machine, when I go away every winter. Uh, I have a fold out camper unit. And uh, it's terrific. It's a terrific unit, and, and the whole thing's nice and compact. Because some places I, I, I go when I when I go fishing out west is the uh, it can be quite tight, and, and I didn't really want to be towing a trailer with me for that reason. But uh, last year when I went away and I camped on my cousin's property on the top of his well near the top of his mountain, I just wished that the unit was separate because um, I had to rely on my cousin or his wife uh, to pick up any groceries I might need. And um, even though he's got a lot of firewood on the property, uh, more often than not, it, it was a long way from camp and I had to lug the chainsaw out and cut it up and then lug it back to camp. And I uh, mean, you know, with my emphysema, I, I find it hard and harder to do work like that. So I decided to take the unit off um, my four wheel drive vehicle and I'm going to put it on the trailer. It, um, uh, it's going to be quite a job. But anyhow, that's something I'm, I've got to do in the next um, or six to eight weeks or so. Uh, before the, the cool to cold weather gets here and I can pack up and head bush uh, for the winter. And uh, that's something I really enjoy doing each and every year um, with the blessing of my wife, I might add. Um, she's quite happy to say bye-bye, see you later, see you in a few months, don't hurry home. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, I, I have got a cup of tea this time. I didn't have a cup of tea with me yesterday. My mouth was getting very dry and... Uh, Yes, it's uh, yes. Somebody has to be the bitch from hell. You know, like that. Oh, good, feel good. You know, tea's a terrific drink for the summer. Uh, maybe many people, most people, don't realise this, but when you drink tea, hot tea, it opens up your pores and it allows your uh, your skin to breathe, and it has a cooling effect. It does. It's true. Um, you like to drink a lot of water as well. And uh, the trouble is that uh, at my age, um, you're always peeing, always. And uh, I mean, I suppose there's nothing in common with it. I suppose even young folk uh, uh, pee a lot too. But when you get older, what happens is that it comes on all of a sudden, poof, just like that, and you've got to go. You know, sometimes I can't even make it into the house, and I'm only 20 metres from the house here in my shed office. So I just go out into the backyard, put a little, a, a little urea onto the grass because there is urea in urine but that's okay you know the only problem is that when you go out shopping or something you get caught short you're really you know you're, you're frantically searching for a toilet and just hope the hell you make it before you wet yourself anyhow look folks uh, um i said in the description that i'd originally planned to do these um live streams monday through to friday for an hour each day from 1 to 2 p.m but um there's no point in me just sitting around here um like a shag on a rock, uh, because I learned yesterday after doing a little bit of research that no one can actually join in on a live stream, but uh, although people can comment, well, and I did try today to find out how you do comment on uh, on a live uh, stream, but uh, I, don't know, that, I just couldn't find out what I wanted. You know, maybe I just typed in the wrong words, and I just have to try again until I can find out how to do it. But anyhow, I'm going to call it quits for that. Um, I just wanted to... To, uh, say hello to those those special friends of mine and uh, I will be on air tomorrow from 1 p.m. again in a light another live stream so until then I, uh, I do thank you very much for watching and uh, until then bye for now